Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be setting up the ooh, third week in August, the 16th through the 22nd, in my vertical planner, which I convert for wellness. Um, and the theme I'm going to go with, so this is one of my planner challenge pages um, where I list out all the challenges. This is in my social media planner. Um, you can find the setup for this in my video for moving in for August. Um, anyway, here are the challenges for the week of the 16th through the 22nd. And I thought um, the August spread thread um, is boho vibes. And when I read that, I always think of, you can probably guess, I always think of the free spirit sticker books. Um, and I have both of them. I, I'm leaning toward, this one probably has more of a boho vibe but I've used it before um, for spreads in my wellness planner and I love it, don't get me wrong, but I, tr I wanna try and use a book I haven't used in a while, which would be this more pastel free spirit one. So we're gonna try to do a wellness spread using mostly stickers from this book. So let's get going. First thing I need to do is pull all my prompts um, so I'm going to get my wax paper out, my nice big sheet of wax paper, and let's pull all the wellness prompts that I need. So, um, let's see. I am on How I Was Kinder this week for my open-ended journaling prompt for the left-hand side. Um, and let's see, I used all the keto stickers off that page, so we'll switch to these new ones. So I substitute exercise. That, that used to be an exercise box. I just substitute... Um, keto for that and I just put a smiley face or frowny face depending on if I was bad or not um I got some organic white nectarines at the grocery store because my husband likes to put them in the food dehydrator slice them and put them in the food dehydrator um so that he has dried fruit for hikes and stuff and oh my gosh fruit is the one thing I miss the most um doing keto I love and they're perfectly ripe and so so yummy and um, they're just they're pretty high in carbs but I have been unable to resist lately so my favorite thing to do is take a little glop of organic goat cheese throw in some chunks of nectarine and some um, strawberries and blueberries any kind of berries and just nibble at that with a glass of white wine. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't get any better than that. So anyway, enough about that. I'm making myself hungry. Um, so I'm just putting my journaling trump prompts across the bottom. And I can't remember if I said that or not. I got myself all distracted with the talk of the fruit, but I do have a video on how I make these. And these are straight out of um, the original wellness planner and extension pack. So there's no mystery here. That's just, that's exactly what they are. So, um, okay. So let's work on setting up my left-hand side. So normally I use washi tape um, and I do uh, words. I, incur I, I, pull, I pull a feeling word and a positive word and I usually find something to put above keto. Uh, and I don't, let's see, I'm not sure that there are really words in this book. So we might actually skip that today. I can use these as workout boxes. I need Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday this week. Um, since there's peach on the page, I think I'll go ahead and pull the other three colors. So there's a purple, and I'm going to kind of stay away from the black, I think. So there's purple, green, green. Blue. Okay, those will be my workout boxes for the center row. Center row is food diary, hydration, and workout. I could probably use some of these across the bottom. This what this page comes pre-printed and says be fearlessly authentic, but that would be super easy to cover if I decide I want to use those. So here's a trick. This is what I'm going to do for food diary this week. Um, these to-do lists are the perfect size to go in here, and they have for um, bullet points, so for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. So we're gonna use that. I'm just gonna flip them upside down so that the to-do is at the bottom and that way I cover it with my hydration sticker, except these, yeah, these are the right size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put seven of these in in random colors and then I need to find hydration stickers too. It's a little tiny bit short, 
Uh, this is one of the older books, so it was made to coordinate with uh, a vertical layout that has a wider um, line across it. So, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm going to put my hydration stickers over it, and so that'll work out just fine. And then I'll just make sure to pick workout boxes that aren't the same color. So, like, since that one's purple, I'll go ahead and put the green one on there. Just kind of in between breakfast and lunch. So, oh, and you know what? I need to completely overlap because, because yeah, I'm just gonna put it right here because I only ever write coffee above there. So. So I need to pull some hydration stickers. So I have nothing really muted enough to match um, any of these colors. So I'm just gonna use some gray ones that I printed myself. Uh, and I don't have a video on these. They're just rectangles with eight little water drops in them. So, and this is just gonna cover up the to-do. And then for scale, um, about the only thing I could find that even remotely looked like it would match was black. So I just want to see if there's a little box or some kind of little shape in here I can use. Oh, here we go. This will work. Let's use a green one. It's tiny, but it'll work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, food diary, workouts, hydration, that's all done. Um, I need to figure out what I'm doing over here. So, I can just write in, I can just write in um, my words, positive word and feeling. I don't always have to have words. I'm just wondering if there's something here I can make work with keto have strength. That's a good one. Have strength. I was just ta talking to you about how weak I've been around the, um, <laughs> the fruit. So have strength is a good one. Um, let's just do that. How can I, maybe I'll put it. Okay. We'll figure this out. And then for these, um, I want to look and see if there's like a washi tape strip sticker kind of a thing in here somewhere. Oh, these will work. I like these. It does start to bring foil in. How many do I, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and use these. And I already know I'm not going to have anything across the bottom um, that's going to come all the way over. So I can come all the way down with this. So for watching, um, still watching the Olympics, I'm taping this a little bit early. But they're almost over, so... Um, we are, we taped A Quiet Place, and we're going to watch that and A Quiet Place 2 here shortly, I think. Feeling, I'll just pick a word. I think relief, maybe, or ready for fall or something, I don't know. Listening to, it is raining today. We, so you guys, if you follow me for a while, you know I live in the Pacific Northwest. Um outside of Seattle to be exact and we have gone 51 days without rain something like that I think the record was 55 and um, it is so dry they just we just had a brush fire not very far from our house um, and there were some level one evacuations we luckily were not involved in that but the air smells like smoke so I am so happy to have a little rain. It is so, so needed. Um, reading. 
Zone One still by um, Colson Whitehead. So good. Loving it. I'm more than halfway through. It's going fast. I'm sad. <laughs> and positive word. Fall. <laughs> Autumn. No, not yet, but hopefully soon. Okay, I need to figure out, and then that leaves me this last one to go with how I was kinder this week, just like I normally do. Okay, so I gotta just figure out, cat hair, how I'm gonna put have strength with keto. So normally this would go just kind of centered here. I'll just kind of stick that up there. That works. That's good. Okay, and then we'll put this right underneath it. And wow, lots of room for how I was kinder this week. I almost could have moved that down. That's okay. There. All right. Awesome, awesome. Let's get rid of this. So I noticed a couple um, vertical boxes actually that had nice lines that I thought, um, like this, these, that I thought would be fun to actually use to write, to journal in. So I'm going to put, I never do that, but I'm going to this week, I'm going to go ahead and put one here and I am going to have to lift up my sticker. And that's okay. Put this down, back down over top of it. Hopefully it comes up. It's a little messy under there, but. And I'm gonna put one on the other side because there's only two. There we go. And I'll just journal right in that box. So let's do the same thing over here. It's peeling the page up a little bit underneath, but since I'm sticking it right back down in the exact same spot, you won't know. So let's put this one here. That's fun, different. There we go. Okay, that adds a little. Let's, you can see, I don't know if you can see on camera, you can see some little shadowing from my dots from using the dot pen last week, but uh, I think once I get the writing on, it's you're not gonna be able to tell. Okay, so pretty much all I have left is deco, and if I want to put a couple quotes down here. So definitely got to use flowers. So, you kind of, so there's some. I could put a couple of these down there. I don't really want to pop on like a super dark purple since there isn't really any super dark stuff anywhere else. I could maybe do a gray one to help bring more of that in. Aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit the stars. That could be a weekend banner. Breathe in, breathe out. I like that. I like that for wellness. And it also makes me think of that song. Breathe in, breathe out. Yes, I'm an alt music person. See, I have some silver foil and I have some copper foil so far. Be aware that you are rare. That's the next one that caught my eye. Let's grab that one and put that one over here. Okay, so now truly all I have left is deco. Ooh. Reach for the stuff. These are pretty and they're nice and big. <clears throat> Practice kindness. I have breathe in, breathe out. I could put just breathe. I'm just looking for this one's too dark. 
Let's go reach for the stars up here. So as I've said before, you can't really judge straightness by this font, but you absolutely can by this font. So I'm trying to make it straight based on that font versus the top line. And I'm also going to use that to center it because I'm going to assume that that's pretty much centered left to right on the bulk of the sticker. So if I center it in this column, then I should be evenly spaced across those three. There we go. Perfect. Yep, that looks pretty darn good. Okay. So now the question is, do I want another one kind of down and over here? I'm a daydreamer. Practice. I like practice kindness. But I'm not sure I want it over here. I do want some of these little florals, though, down here. And maybe some stars. Let's do a little something over here. I'm just hesitating because I've got silver right there. Um, and I don't know if I want the copper right next to it. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. Let's find some stuff for, uh, to finish the top. I don't know if I want a big rectangular box in here, up here. Um, although I do kind of like find your wild. This one's a little smaller. Wild heart, escape, ooh, I like the escape the ordinary. I like that. And I also like have a brave heart but it's kind of a big hit of black. So I have some black there and some black there. Will it balance or will it be too much? If I like put it maybe there. If I put this one down here, I am a moon child, I should use that. I was born in um, June, so I am a moon child. I could use those two together maybe. Use that notch out. If I put that one there, does this one fit here? Not quite. Close, I could probably make it fit. I like that. There. Can't even see the notch. Okay. Liking it so far. So the only other thing I could do would be put wild at heart here and I don't want the two greens. And I don't really, I like this. Aim for the moon, if you miss you may hit a star, but I already have a star centric quote over there. So maybe we'll just finish with some deco. Although I kind of want a little something. I like Dance in the Rain. That's pretty cool, especially since I just mentioned that it's raining. The problem is then I have two very similar quotes on that side and two very similar quotes on that side, and it looks unbalanced. So maybe we'll just finish off with some florals. Let's just finish off with some florals. Copper or plain? I like this love this life. It's kind of long and thin to echo that long and thin like these two echo each other. And now if I break up both sides up with some ooh, florals, I think we'll be all set. I kind of want one of these moon stickers up here. That could be my other little hit of black is this moon sticker. And then let's put some florals on there. So I have a kind of a tall, thin space there. The question is, do I want copper? I don't know if I do. Let's put green, because I've got green on the other side. Will this one fit? It looks kind of too, yeah, it kind of fits. That works. Okay. And then maybe a small copper. 
like overlapping. Does that look weird? No, that looks okay. And then do I want a tall one over there? It won't quite fit. I need the whole space. Let's do this one opposite. Let's do copper underneath and purple over top. Doesn't show up as well. That's okay. Uh, so I was gonna start over here, but this is the bigger space. So I'll use the bigger floral over here in the bigger space to fill up. And I'll do a smaller one over there. I do want one big one though. I'm gonna do green to help balance that hit of green. And then same thing over here. Let's do a purple one over here. And a couple little guys. All right, I, I like it. I, I could put, I could keep putting stuff in, but I don't think I need to. Um, about the only thing I could think of would be maybe some kind of round sticker right there, but I just, I don't think I need it. Let's put it in my planner. So for this page, I don't have to do anything because I ended up using the back side of the page I used last week. For this side, I don't know what I'm gonna do on the 23rd. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna go pink for a third week in a row or if I'm gonna wanna use a more neutral. Um, so I'm just gonna put this one in as it is and then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it for next week's spread. So there we go, there is my boho free spirit um, spread in my wellness and fitness planner for the week of August 16th through the 22nd. I hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you to break out one of those older sticker books that you haven't used in a while. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.